Factors observe the external features of mammalian brain. This is the dorsal surface of the brain. In dorsal surface of brain, we can see the parts like uh, this is cerebrum and this is cerebellum. So, we call it as a forebrain and this is hindbrain. In between these two brains, we uh, see midbrain. Okay. If we, if we observe the lobes of the brain, this is the frontal lobe. This part is the frontal lobe and this one is the parietal lobe. And these are the okay. occipital lobes. And if we turn over it, when we see the ventral side, these are the Tempor temporal lobes. Maybe temporal lobes, okay. And when it comes to the uh, hindbrain, you can see the parts like this is pons veroli. And this is medulla oblongata. And this one is spinal cord. And, we, and when it comes to the dorsal surface, you can see the groove here in the middle. This groove is dividing the cerebrum into two halves. These two halves are called as cerebral hemispheres. These two are called as cerebral hemispheres. If you see the surface of these cerebral hemispheres, you can observe the grooves and elevations. These are the grooves and these are the elevations. These grooves are called as sulcites. Singular is sulcus. The plural is sulcites. If you see this the elevations, these elevations are called as gyri. gyri. One singular is gyrus. Gyri and sulci, sulci, sulci accommodate more number of neurons in the cerebrum. So the, uh, the bigger part of the brain is cerebrum. Almost it ranges from 900 to 990. Almost one cage uh, it is in one cage of weight and this one is cerebellum this is uh, the part of hindbrain Latin cerebellum means little brain it maintains the posture and equilibrium of the body cerebellum also has the ridges or elevations called folia and the grooves called as sulci or sulci.